I've always heard the expression, the walls have eyes, but should they have a tongue and teeth too? Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! What's up, Rascals? Welcome to Tenement, another game by Kitty Horror Show. And once again, I have no idea what's gonna be going on. Uh, it's... you never know with Kitty Horror Show. It could actually be... whoa. Holy crap, I can watch some fastness. Um, anyway... Jeez. The speed at which I travel is... jarring. Anyway, the whole point of this... I... Uh, I have no idea what the point is. But, as usual with Kitty Horror Show games, there is, uh... some underlying backstory that's possibly tragic, po definitely dark, and, uh... Just a whole area to explore for... Is that a seam in reality? Nice. Anyway... Um... Besides the... Oh boy. Yeah, I did it! I done did it! I done died. Oh. She planned for this. Okay... Um, traveling in the sewers, I see. Cause I, f I slipped and fell. Ooh, ooh, hello. Why not? Um, hello? Hello? Okay, I can go in the water. Cool. I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, what about this way? Oh, hello. You legitimately startled me. Um, hello, good sir and or ma'am. Um... What? How, how, fancy meeting you here, hi. I have to remember the lot. I have to remember the street I was on. The dog that got me is back there. It stopped moving after it got me. I saw it. It must still be there, with my skin filling up its metal stomach, processing and grinding. Metal stomach? What? I got over the fence and looked down, and my leg was just wet muscle. No more skin. I kept moving, though, until it, I didn't. I found the house and went it through the window, and they had that nice bedroom in there. With the full bed and the pictures of a lake. I don't know how long I slept there. Maybe I'm still sleeping there. Feels like a little... Feels a little like a dream. My skin feels wet and sallow, like in a dream. If I opened it up, I'd just be full of air and smoke. Maybe I will. You're not going to stop me, are you? Okay... Like I said, there's a bit of darkness in in every kitty horror show game, and uh, a bit of gruesome description there. All right, uh, have fun figuring out if you're in a dream or not. Um, did I come through here? Oh, hello. Can I escape? Yes, I can climb back up. But is it back up outside? Who knows? It's a different area. I think, maybe. Maybe it's the same area, just a different spot of it. I came out of a sewer like a ninja turtle. Nice. Um, okay, so what else do I... That sounds ominous and... Oh, it's the music. Okay. Just setting the tone. A very disturbing tone. But, eh. What do you expect? I have no idea. I never know what to expect. It's always an interesting discovery to find out what's gonna happen in a, in a, in these games. Blue light special? Is there something special about this blue light? What drew me to it? Am I just a moth to the flame? Or maybe that's like a bug zapper. 
Am I a bug? Alright, I don't know what the... Ooh! A theater! I think. Looks like a theater! Can I go in? No? Poopy? Let me in the theater. I don't care if it's shut down. Oh, hello! Ooh, you startled me too! Do you know what this place is missing? A hotel. You may laugh, but I'm telling you, when I was younger, everywhere that was anywhere had a hotel. I was lucky enough to grow up just an hour outside of a city with a hotel. My papa and I, and then later, my dates and I, used to go into the city together by rail and make an evening of it. Like everyone else who was young or in love, or, or both. It was so exciting being there, all crowded into the lobby with dozens and dozens of other hopefuls. The murmur and the energy. Sometimes you'd meet people who had been before, and they'd tell you some of their experiences, and sometimes you'd meet people you've never been... and who... wait. You'd meet people who'd never been, and you'd tell them some of yours. There was a real sense of brotherhood to it, and shared wonder that brought you together. And when the person at the front desk would appear and announce that a new room had been born and cleansed, and was ready, born and cleansed, I think someone's having a weird idea of what a, uh, Oh, you'd get to be the one to sink your knife into its brain and kill the hotel for good and all, and the city would remember you forever. Kill the hotel? Okay. Somehow that feels reminiscent of, um... Oh, what's its butt? Um... Anatomy. You remember that game, don't you? If not, check it out. Uh, it's, it's right over here. Ah, okay. Anyway, more to explore, possible people to speak at, or be told a story from. Hello! I speak at you! Or you speak at me. Ghosts! Ghosts! This building is full of ghosts! Isn't that funny? They crawl and slither and moan, but I don't know if you'd say they haunt. You look at this place and it seems like the sort of building where ghosts would be stored. Not one they'd haunt. Have you seen the ghost up in 3B? The apartment with the damp carpets and all the aquariums and stacks of newspaper? The old head just shuffles around, moving by its jaw and that long fat tongue. Just moaning and sobbing. Not very scary, huh? And you have that woman in 5A who just lays in her bathtub, staring at her feet. She looks pale. Paler than ghosts look. You think she's sick or something? I guess I'm asking too many questions. You know what I bet it is? I bet it's those lights. Lighting is so important. Like, I'm very affected by my environment. I'll get all kinds of messed up if I'm someplace and the light looks wrong the light in there. It kills moths. It just oozes out of those paper fixtures, all pale and too bright. What's with those fixtures anyway? They put up, they put them up there like, like they were getting ready to paint around the lights, but then they just never did. Now it looks like the building just got left behind halfway through some of the some kind of renovation. Anyway, yeah, lights, just the wallpaper and the drab green blah, 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 blah. I'm, It's going too fast for me to fully read it. Anyway, ghosts, lights. Okay, cool. Um, ghost lights. Where's this apartment he was talking about? I kind of want to see for myself. If that's even an option. It might not be, it might just be part of the story. Can I get past you? No, this is just a... Oh. So oh, freaking dark. Oh, hello. Oh. Yes. No. Maybe. Maybe I can. 
Oh, there's a fence there, you bastard. I couldn't see the fence, but now I can see... Wait. Um... Fence! Ah, bastards. Where might I go now? Hello? Ha ha! Hee hee ho ho! Ah! Alright, ooh. Oh, okay. Can I. Nope. That's just. weird. Don't tease me like that, damn it. Oh! Oh, is this where I started? Oh, crafty! Ha ha ha! Alright. So. I'm back up on the surface, I can talk to peoples. Maybe I should go back down in the sewers and uh, find a different person to babbles at. I don't know. Is there even an end to this? Is there something like talk to all the people and uh, learn all their stories and you get an ending? I don't know. It's hard to know what's really going to happen in a kitty horror show game. Hello! Hey friend, word of advice for you. That tall building on the other side of town, the one with the blue light near the wall. Don't go in that building. Shit, probably don't even want to go near that building. The last place like this I was at, this building would sometimes show up there and that was just exactly like that. I mean, exactly. Same windows and blue lights and greasy alley behind a restaurant. Smell and everything. That blue light tripped me out so I broke into the place at one night. I don't know why. I Because I was younger and dumber, I guess. I just liked walking around in places and I'm like philosophically opposed to locked doors. So I go in and start walking around in there. And it's the usual stuff, mostly. Emptied out office floors, the old style manor floors and refrigeration floors, and all that kind of stuff. But then, I get to this floor and the door in the stairwell is nailed shut with boards and everything. I'm like, well, okay, now I have to go in there. And I break down the boards and get the door open, and I'm in there, and it's your typical exposed wood, pink insulation, unfinished basement type floor. Only the lights don't work, and the whole space is full of these big box shapes that are like metal and glass, and they're dimly lit from the inside, like the way a car roof light work looks. Turns out they're cages, or like aquariums, and there's people in them. Only like, if you took all the bones out and hung them up in a closet, that's how they look, just hanging in those things. Soft mouths all opening and closing, but not making any noise. Or maybe they were, and, and the cage things were soundproof. I don't know. So immediately I'm thinking, this is like a sex thing, and these are all just a bunch of rich pervs getting up to it. But then I look close and at the aquarium. Its face is all wet and mucousy. Looks fresher than the others do. And inside one of the walls, the aquarium is crisscrossed with trails. Slip. Oh, okay. Oh, what a joke. Yeah. Ah, uh, such a joke. Uh, we were at that building with the blue light. Now I'm curious and I want to see what's in there. Damn it, why'd you have to spill that knowledge at me? And why did I have to read it twice? Um, I don't know, but uh, obviously. Yes, I can go this way. Uh, blue light special. On souls. Aisle four. Um, okay, so this is just a big old circly circle. I need to get to that building. How do I get to the building? Well, obviously I walk there, but um, what is the right path? I can't remember. Okay, there's the sewer that I crawled up from. Then I went this way, I think. And was it over here? Or was it over here? There it is. Okay, so... This building... With the blue light... Oh, did I see you? Did I meet you? 
where do you come from? Sorry, that's maybe a little personal. I ask because you don't look like the rest of us. But also because I was going to ask if I, it had any basements. It? Where you come from, I mean. Like the town or the city. Basements fascinate me. They're like the ocean, you know? So depthless and unfathomable. And they're just right there, under our feet, going down who knows how far. I don't know how anyone can walk past one of those stairways without being just absolutely desperate to go down and see where it leads. I just... I did just exactly that one time. I remember I was going home one night, only I didn't want to go home because my apartment was dying and in a lot of pain, so it was lashing out. So I pass by this basement. So I pass by this basement staircase to a storm drain in the street I'm on, and I just go. I just go down, not really caring what happens to me. It was the most wonderful thing I could ever experience. I remember feeling that. That's a lot of wordness. Machines and pipes all over, and this place. And this big space, like a warehouse almost, or, I don't know, a submarine bunker? And in the middle of the space there are these huge holes in the ground, maybe 50 feet across. Wow. That's a big area. Who's building these basements? And also, uh, can I just point out the f fact that apparently in this world, um, apartments and buildings are sentient and alive? And they can die. Well, I suppose that's kind of the same thing as being condemned, but... Alright, so how do I get into that building with the blue light? How? I must know! Is there a way? There's gotta be a way. I gotta figure it out. It's killing me to not know! Well, maybe, maybe all of this is connected. Maybe I can get in there through here? Maybe? Ah, why do I want to go in there so bad anyway? I mean, you'd think that there was ample reason for me not to, given what the other guy said. I don't know. Morbid curiosity? Speaking of morbid curiosity... Bye-bye! Back in the big wet. De sewer sewer. You know, that basement guy would probably love it down here. How far does this go? Oh. Well. Answers that question. Are there any tunnels over here? Yes! Okay. It's a big old labyrinth. Head on through. Oh, hello. Hi there. Do you remember? I don't remember. I remember some things. I don't remember it. I don't remember it all. God, it's like... It's like it got cut out, you know? I remember there were nails and they cut my feet when I walked. Ribbons of skin trailing me, flapping and laughing and skittering and collecting ashes. I remember his eyes, so wide, those rotten teeth, so many teeth, rows and rows. I don't remember why I needed them. I don't remember. Can you tell me anything? I'd like to remember. There's this feeling in my palms, like there's things in there, crickets or termites and... They're swimming in my muscle and chewing up my memories, and I dig them out, but what did they do wrong? That's just what they do. It's only natural. I feel dizzy and my head hurts. Maybe I'm hungover. I drank so much of the stream. With my head held under, I had to drink. I was thirsty and afraid, and my feet kept hitting the concrete until they felt soft and painful and wet. I think I was laughing, but... I can't remember. Fuck, I can't remember anything. Can you help me? Wow. 
Well, I wish I could, but you know what? Your story kind of creeps me out there. Um, hello? Hello? Anything cool in here? Well, there's that. Uh, what about this way? Just keep exploring here. Eh, uh, keep going this way. Doodly do. Hello, sir. And or ma'am. That room was mine. They had no right. I paid my rent for a hundred years. Who the hell are they to force me out? My skin is in those walls. The carpet knows how I taste. So much of my flesh and blood and puke and mucus has gone down those drains. The just clogging up the pipes. I'm caught in the room's throat. I'm part of it. Sometimes I would push myself against the wall and my skin would start to melt and the wallpaper would knit its way around me. Such comfort, such sublime assurance. I'm an electrician, god dang it. I sew nerve endings to the eye beams and open eyes at an and make towers scream. They can't do this to me. I'll go to the housing authority. That's what I'll do. I'll show them all the scars, those teeth marks, up and down my arms, and I'll tell them to go to my apartment and check its breath, and they'll smell my sweat on it, and they'll know that it's mine. You can't just evict someone from a place like that and give it to someone else. I'll chew them up and... Anyway, it's mine. I've worked hard all my life. I don't ask for anything except a home that keeps me in its mouth. Who the hell do they think you are? Who the hell do you think you are? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, fascinating rant. Um, this world tar is, this world is really starting to scare me. Living buildings, or is that a metaphor? It's all starting to be like, you know, crazy. Anyway, I honestly don't know if you can actually get into that building or if there's anything other than just talking to these random shadow people. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it right here. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, as disturbing as some of it was. Anyway, if you like this video, give that like button a bop, leave some comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.